Okay, so that introduction took way too long, and I'm never going to do anything like that again, and there's no way I was about to make music for that. So anyway, this is Joe. Some of the footage got cut off in the beginning, but again, too tired to go back and rummage through it, try to parse something cognizant out of it, but... Yeah, this is Joe. Joe's a tough guy. You saw me roll him before. I've gotten a bit better, but it doesn't look like that here. And Joe's going easy on me. In all of these videos, just assume everybody's going to go easy on me. But basically, unless it's a white belt, but basically, he has me in a triangle at this point, and I'm stacking on him. I'm putting my arm on his neck to try to get out of this stack. And it seems like it's not working. However, I just push more, and then he lets go of it just to let me work a little bit, but I wouldn't have had that if he didn't do that. There you see us communicating about uh, some of my transgressions that occurred, and I'm basically putting my weight on him. My teeth are really white. I get those compliments all the time, like, just wait. It, might, it could be the contrast of uh, my teeth to my beard, you know, that could be it, but who knows. He has me in his guard again, and... I'm trying to posture up, but I still do that leaning thing, which I shouldn't be doing. And this was right after my roll with uh, Steve, the black belt. So I do the best I can here, but I am exhausted. By the end of this, you're going to see my shirt get soaked even more, but if you can't tell, it's pretty soaked. My nickname at the gym is Monochrome, because if you haven't seen some of my Nogi outfits, it's usually one color or it's usually like one design across my entire body you know kind of like his funky little shorts design but just all over my body and if you don't know any of my other videos you better start watching because they're darn entertaining look at that we are fighting for our wrists we are fighting to try to do bad things to each other i hug his legs and i'm way too high again i'm exhausted that's why i probably get sweeped and now he is in mount not much I can do from here. He's got my arm. He's doing some bad stuff. He is getting the Americana, but I'm just being a tough guy. Not tapping because I'm stubborn. And he decides he's going to let go. I'm struggling, but he's nice. And he's basically pulling up. And then he lets go because he knew I wasn't going to tap. He's nice. It's very nice of him to do. I should have tapped. But yeah, if I was going against anyone in the tournament, I would have probably like broken my arm right there, so that's not going to happen with him. But anyway, this gym's pretty good for that reason. Uh, the higher level belts let you work. I have a video of me coming out with a white belt, and I did relatively well, but yeah. He actually puts my hand down, and he is controlling the one hand. My other hand's free, and he's still controlling the position. It's kind of bad, actually. So, I try to do some stuff with my other hand. I was, I don't even know what I was trying to do. I wanted to frame, but I don't really know how to frame from this position. And what I'm trying to do now is, I'm basically trying to bump him off of me, but it's not working. I moved to the side, I didn't move my hips uh, or anything, and then he just pins my arm. So now, he's using his long, lanky, freaking legs to tie me up, and then he does a head and arm triangle. At least I think that's what it is. I believe that's it. Or that could be a Darce. I don't know. You guys in the comments tell me because I still have trouble identifying them. Anyway, we shake hands. Here's the second roll. And I just dive right into him. You know what I mean? So now what I'm doing is I'm trying to like wrap him up and it's not working. I mean, I'm trying to put my weight on him. I'm not really trying to wrap him up. And here's where I sit for a little bit. I remember this roll because it just happened like two days ago. And basically, because I'm doing all the wrong things and putting my weight on him incorrectly. This happened yesterday, actually. Um, he just pretty much tipped me over. Then he was like, just to show me what I did wrong. And he did the same thing again because I did the same thing wrong again. And, you know, I mean, he didn't explain it. 
I was just there in the way, so it wasn't good. Man, this filmographer is really great. Thanks, Jake. Now back to the task at hand. It's not fun. Joe is on top of me, and basically, he's about to rip the worst armbar ever, and it's not really an armbar, it's more of a bicep slicer on the forearm. But you hear the pain right now. Did you hear that? It sucked. A lot. I mean, just look at my face right after this. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It's like nearly 1 a.m. here and I'm very tired. So, my energy is really gone. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share my videos, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Thanks, and you guys have a great rest of the night.